I thank you for raising the voice for those who can't raise their voice anymore. And I very much hope that next time... Your protests here are essential to let the government know that democracy and that human rights are part of societies and have to be part of societies, especially when big sports events are taking place. Sports events should not cover up violations of human rights in countries like in Azerbaijan right now. My mom's health condition is really very bad. She's suffering from hepatitis C, the liver decay. She needs urgent hospitalization and medical treatment. And she's still psychologically and physically tortured in the prison. She's been attacked so many times by her inmates, by prison guards. So she can be beaten up right now in the prison and we wouldn't know anything about it. Also, it's important to say about my dad because he's been isolated. He's like buried since August 5, buried alive. And we don't know anything about him. And he went through mini strokes and he can be dead right now. Baku, Azerbaijan. All the world in one. Azerbaijan wants to show the world that everything is fine. But instead that they improve, like release the political prisoners, they increase the pressure. Now they have discussed that they will not allow also foreign journalists who will come to the uh, Baku Games to report freely. I was really impressed by the large amount of people attending and the NGO activists but also people who just uh, are concerned, sports people who are concerned about what's going on in Azerbaijan on human rights and on the crackdown on human rights defenders uh, since last August and uh, so I was very glad to see such a big attendance and also very clear statements from across the political spectrum of this parliament to make sure that no EU leader or leader from any member state is going to stand beside President Aliyev at the opening of the Baku Games on the 12th of June and sort of hail what's going on there. We should use all possibilities to increase the pressure before the Games and I hope very much that the European Parliament will find a majority to pass a resolution to strongly criticize the situation in Azerbaijan. Benim altımış yaşım var. İki gündür men işkence verirler mene. Neye göre? Çünkü men yazıyorum ki Azerbaycan'da siyasi mekbuslar var. A President İlham Aliyev diyor ki siyasi mekbus yoktu. Her şey yakışır. What I'm expecting during the games, I don't expect it now anything because the government's turned to continue their silent diplomacy. It showed the total failures. Since their arrest, nothing improved in my parents' case. And they're still behind the bars. The trial is still not set. The Sport for Rights campaign is a coalition of international organizations uh, working together to draw international attention to the human rights situation in Azerbaijan in the context of the upcoming European Games. Um, we're trying to capture the international attention that will be on the Games and show that there's more to the story than what the government has been putting out, the sort of glitzy, glamorous image they work so hard to promote. There is a more sinister side, an ongoing human rights crackdown, um, and as a result there are dozens of political prisoners, including eight jailed journalists and um, five jailed human rights defenders. The athletes as well as the officials, the sport organizations, should uh, open their mouths and speak up for uh, the people in Azerbaijan, for those who are in prison. But uh, they have to be careful because if they do it during the competition in Azerbaijan, they might be punished by the organizers. So that's always very difficult for the athletes to really do something. As soon as the competition starts, it's always the same. People will just watch and nobody cares for any problems. So the time before the opening ceremony is the most important to really try to change something. And you know, Azerbaijan is investing lots of money in trying to give the country a good image. I mean, they could save lots of money if they just released the prisoners and allowed freedom of speech, allowed freedom of assembly, allowed criticism. I mean, in any society, in any democracy, it's so important to have critical thoughts and critical people express it. As politicians, we don't always like that. 
but that's part where democracy is so important. So really, if Azerbaijan also would want to give the country a good image, just release the political prisoners and you'll save lots of money.